I want to talk about autograph collectors. Now, that might seem like kind of a weird topic for someone like me who is not even a little bit famous. But Valerie, why would anyone want your autograph? Really good question. Strangely enough, occasionally people do. Now, not many at all. I'm probably four or five in about the last five years. <laughs> Every time it happens, you kind of go, huh. I have a request sitting in my email right now. And while I was in the middle of that, last week, a friend of mine who is also a not at all famous actor posted on her Facebook, I got this request from someone in Russia and I don't know what to make of it. And there was an interesting discussion that came up on the thread to that. Um, I've seen some other interesting discussions about it as well. Notably, there is a blog by an author named Lee Pertill that I ran into last time. Usually I Google the name of the person who is asking me for the autograph. The very first autograph request I received about four or five years ago was from a gentleman who sent me an email saying, I'm a big fan of your work in Rocky II, Rocky vs. Nemesis. It was shot on analog video. It's not even available digitally. And maybe a hundred people have ever seen it. So I'm like, how can you be a fan of me from that? I'm almost certain you never saw it. And it's a terrible thing to have this be the immediate thought process. But generally when someone just comes out of the woodwork, when you're unknown, all the alarm bells go off. So I got the email from this gentleman and I googled his name and I found a number of letters he had written to the editor, to various newspapers, but the thing that interested me and the thing that's kind of always been in the back of my head about who engages in this hobby is this gentleman is a disabled veteran. He likes to write letters to the editor and he gets autographs from obscure public figure is kind of the phrase that I've come up with. We're not famous. You probably haven't really seen us in anything, but we're still out there on IMDb. We're still out there on social media and on our websites. You know, I kind of mulled it over in my head for a while and thought, you know, why not? If I can give him a little bit of joy when his mail arrives one day, I'm fine with that. So I went ahead and did it. Didn't really think anything about it. Um, it was about two years before I got another request. Part of that was because I had taken my email address off of my IMDb page. At that time, I didn't really have a professional email address. The next request I got came through the mail in a handwritten letter that was sent to my agent. And this person wrote a four or five page handwritten letter. I, I can't remember which credit he cited but I still kind of got the impression that I don't know if this person really saw this film. You know, you shouldn't be concerned with Hollywood's idea of beauty and don't ever change and be true to yourself. And it was kind of awkwardly phrased, but it was also, you know, kind of sweet that someone is saying, okay, I want something from this person. I should at least make them feel good about themselves. <laughs> I signed it. I personalized when people send me these things because um, partly because it's for, if it's for them, they'll be pleased to see it personalized. If they're a dealer, which apparently dealers also do go after obscure public figures, I have learned in my reading around on this topic, you know, so if I'm personalizing it to the person who's asking for it and they want to sell it, I have no idea, honestly, how that affects whether they sell it. And yet, you can see I'm really ambivalent about all of this. You know, printing headshots isn't cheap and postage keeps, just keeps going up and up and up. So at this point, I am not going to be sending out, even though there's something that I have a supply of, my regular eight by 10 headshots, only because they're expensive to mail. If I get to the point where I'm getting more requests and it starts to cost me money, then I'll think about, you know, should I say, no, you see, need to send a self-addressed stamped envelope, you know, I, whatever. If it's just people that are kind of checking me off on a list because it, they're completest about their collection, I'm fine with that. It's a hobby. It makes them happy. 
okay, but I shouldn't be sending that through my agent. So if I do start getting more requests, I'll have to rethink the whole thing. Right now, I'll just deal with it one at a time. The, the person that I have a request in from sitting right now, you know, took the time to say, hey, this is who I am. I live in this city, a little bit about my family. You know, I got your email address off of IMDb. I hope you don't mind. And I don't. I think that really has to be individual for each person, how they respond to the requests. You know, it's so easy to be really cynical. But they're just people who are pursuing their hobby in the way that people in their community do. So I don't want to be rude to them just for that. But I'm really curious. You know, there are a couple of things that I have done that I've been fortunate enough to work alongside people who are much better known. Did I kind of, is, is there like a tree? Did they get to me from that person? Are they kind of systematically going through that person's credits and then kind of, you know, getting a complete set of the cast of this and then of the cast of this? I'm really, really curious. If they're coming from people who actually love my movies, thank you. It's wonderful to know that people are actually watching the things that I've been in. If they're coming from people who are collecting be, for the sake of collecting, that's okay. I'm glad it makes you happy. It's no skin off my nose. Um, if there gets to be a lot more, again, I'll rethink my policy. But in the meantime, I'm really super, super curious. If you are an unknown actor or author, or I've seen uh, some people give examples, they're mayors of small cities. If you're someone who is an obscure public figure and you have gotten requests for autographs, how do you handle it? What do you think about it? What do you feel about it? I'm really curious to know. And if you are a fan or a collector who writes to obscure public figures and asks them for their autograph, asks people like me who, a schlub with a day job, who goes to the grocery store and sweats, let me know about your hobby. Let me know about your interest in people that you may not have actually seen. Do you, do you then go and watch their movies if you get their, their autograph? I am curious what you feel when you get that in the mail from someone who maybe isn't famous and what it means to you. Is it, is it, is it completing a set? Is it numbers? Is it, I don't know, what else is it? I'm curious, so if you see this video and you're willing to share your experience as a public figure or as a collector, I'd like to hear from you. That's all, till next time, bye-bye.